Hi everybody, Reese Davis with you, bringing you the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 pregame show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. A nice easy pace of warm up over. Better buckle those chin straps. SEC action about to start. That's going to do it for us. Thanks for checking out the pregame show. NCAA college football action coming right at you. Brad and Kirk on the call. David and I are back at halftime. more commonly referred to as the Swamp, is the site for today's game. Let's head down to the coin toss now. It's brought to you by Coke Zero. Real Coca-Cola taste and zero calories. Enjoy everything. He's tackled the 42-yard line. This is why it's so important to have success in running the football. It forces a defense to prepare for it, and then that creates chances on play action. They'll give it off here. He's at the 40. Down the sideline. Spectacular play, and now it's first and goal. Touchdown, Gators. was so smoothly executed. You have one player like this that the defense has got to be aware of. They're going to spread you out, try to find the one-on-one -on -one matchup, and if you spend too much time with this one player, they've got some other weapons to make you pay for it. He's on the run, and they get the sack. Dropped him for the second straight time. And that crowd is definitely playing a factor now. Flips it, middle to the running back. Tackle made at the 32. The offense didn't appear to be in sync on that series. Here's the deep man awaiting the return. Oh, excellent punt. They'll bring him down at the 29. They want to create holes for the running game, and it helped them get the score. Let's see if they can do it again. Tackle after a decent run up the gut. He gets out to about the 35-yard line. The Razorbacks were really excited when they got this guy. They expect him to be a future star, a top recruit, a great talent. And there's tackle number one. Strike to his receiver, no good. Smith was the intended receiver on that pass. So that'll make it fourth down. On third down, the defense was expecting the pass. And they defended the play very well in the secondary. Anderson, the return man. It's away, and it's a booming punt. The Gators really took care of business on defense that first time out, Kirby. One of the great traditions of college football is this defense and the way they play with such passion and enthusiasm in this environment. We're seeing that again today. And while they are behind, they know they can knock things up in a heartbeat. It's way too early to change the game plan. Halfback's got it on the quick throw. He's taken down around the 40-yard line. There are five wide receivers split out. The quarterback in the gun. And a quick throw to the 20. And they finally push him out at the 12-yard line. That's good for him. First down. They hand it off. The back gets three on the carry. This safety is as vicious a player as you're going to find. Oh, 
tackle at the seven yard line. That play was going nowhere. He's under pressure. Going to the end zone, and it's coming back out. Kirk, you and I have talked to his coaches. We've talked to his teammates. Everybody says this kid's a real deal. We're about ready to find out. And he's taken down at about the three-yard line. And the halfback's got nowhere to go. And he's brought down there by the senior at linebacker. That won't be the last time today we'll be talking about this young man. And he hits him hard at the 12. He fights forward to about the 13. He gets it away, and this is a really nice punt. Anderson fields it at the 42. Tackle made at the 50. The Gators really came prepared to play defense today, and the plan is working. They'll work the left. And he is drilled at the 50-yard line. Feeds it to the back, and he's tackled right around the 48-yard line. Receivers in the formation. He's hit and taken down. It's a smart job here by the coaches. Knocked down, incomplete. He was able to just tip that one away. And they make the stop at the 38-yard line. Bring him down at about the 37 yard line. He gets it up and it's long enough and it's good. You know, I was wondering if he's going to get a chance to kick one of those. We saw him warming up from 60 yards before the game. 7 3, Florida. Brought down in the open field. Through one quarter, the Gators lead it by four. Gets it out to his receiver in a hurry, and down he goes at the 33-yard line. Fields it at the 24, and he's taken down at the 26. Brad, everywhere we go when we travel over the country, people want to talk about offense. Teams that advance and get to the important bowl games and do well in the postseason are teams that have this kind of defense. That brings him second and five. They go with the runner. He's taken down behind the line. Quick throw. Brought down at the 38. You know, if you use him in this offense the right way. And they get nice yardage on that run. Bell picks up about four yards on the delayed handoff. Here's the throw. I don't think he got anything on that. Got it. Complete. He's out of bounds. They give to the tailback. And they got to him before he could get back to the line. The running back gets a yard, maybe less. Caught over the middle. He's tackled around the 36-yard line. Watch down, and he's going to get sacked. The ball is loose. The defense scoops it. He's at the 30, to the 20, to the 10. He's all the way home. Touchdown. Defensive touchdowns give teams such a big morale lift. This is a really nice play to grab the loose ball and take it the distance. The coach wants to challenge this one, so we'll take another look at the possible fumble. So the question on this one is whether or not the ball carrier's knee hit the ground before the fumble popped loose. 
So the booth and the referee agree. The runner's knee was down. That was still a close call, though, Brad. Even though he was down, this guy has to do a better job of holding that football. Swatted away. A alert read on that play. That look. And he's level at the 49. Going deep. Nice play. Good job here by the quarterback is staying with his receiver. And the receiver stays with the route because he knows his quarterback has the arm strength to get it there. Nice run up the middle. Puts on a move. Touchdown. Things can get pretty fierce in this territory, but they look totally in control there. The defense score a touchdown on you, but it was always a reminder to take extra care of the football. Get to that quickly. Tackle made at about the 45. Well, the defensive backs completely jumped the run, only the run was never there. It was just that misstep that allowed the completion. Fires in a hurry. Interception. He's at the 30 for the 20. The 10. Touchdown, Gators. And that was a super play by the defender. Excellent interception and an even better return for the score. This is excellent on capitalizing off of mistakes. Tosses left. Intercepted. They're really digging themselves in a hole now. That interception was not what they were looking for. He's taken down right around the 20. Tackle right around the 12-yard line. He laterals. He makes it to the nine. They've obviously found the formula for moving the ball against the Moore gets about four yards on the play. That's a great tackle at the three-yard line. Henderson picks him up two yards with that catch. He gets rid of this one. He gets it up, and it sails through the uprights. They'll line up with five wide receivers. Pass complete and taken down immediately. Fires that quickly to the tailback, and he hits him hard at the 37-yard line. That'll make it 31. Run there. Now he tries to buy some time. Quarterback's going to run it, and he's got room to work. And he's taken down at the 37. He made a real nice play on that one. I'll tell you what. In today's game, you have to have the ability to run the football. Give the quarterback a lot of credit. He made a great play and really gave his team a boost. He's going to try and scramble. Bumbo! Looks like the offense has it. And he's tackled at the 41-yard line. Just throws this one away. The defense got some pressure and forced a bad pass. And he can't get away from the pressure. The smart quarterbacks and offensive linemen have a really unique relationship. A quarterback should take care of his offensive linemen. But after that play and that hit, you really got to be wondering what kind of relationship this quarterback and his offensive linemen have after that. He's going to air it long. Incomplete. And that'll do it for the first half. Still plenty of football to be played. The Gators with a three-touchdown advantage. 
We played 30 minutes. Glad to have you with us on the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 Halftime Show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. David Pollock and I here in the studio to break down everything that just happened in your game. This halftime lead can make a team feel as if the game is over, that they've already done their work, that they put the other guy away. But I think the first few minutes of the second half could be paramount if they want to build on this lead and make sure that they finish it with a victory. Well, absolutely. If you come out and you give up a, a score right away, you're talking about making this game within two scores and, and making it a little bit closer than you want it to. So if you can come out, get a stop, get a score, you can put this game out of reach right away. You can make the other side extremely one-dimensional, make them pass happy, and put them in a situation where you know exactly what you're going to get from them. So you got to come out in the first few minutes of the third quarter, establish yourself, and shut that door of any hope for the other side. David and I will stay locked in on everything going on in college football. We're going to wrap it up here in the studio. Just about time to get you out to your second half. Brad and Kirk, ready with a call. He scrambles. They'll bring him down right around the 22-yard line. He gets sacked on the play. Pulls down the catch, and he's got room here. And down he goes right around the 32-yard line. First down. He's on the run. And they make the stop around the 37-yard line. And he is drilled at the 48-yard line. Here's a screen pass. Gets it to the back. They bring him down in the backfield. Takes it up the middle for a nice run. Brought down right around the 36-yard line. They'll wrestle him down in the backfield. And he carries the ball for a nice game. And he makes it out to about the 31-yard line. So the halfback gets only two on the draw play. Kicks away. And he just drilled it from long range. He's tackled at about the 25-yard line. after a decent run up the gut. Fires out to his receiver. That's going to bring up fourth down. Just a great job by the defense. These guys are disguising their defense so well that they're confusing the quarterback and the offensive line. Oh, excellent punt. They'll bring him down at the 20-yard line. Every single time this offense has the ball, they're moving the football, but they're settling for field goals. Gains his way to the 30-yard line. Now he's scrambling. Tackle made around the 33-yard line. Nice run, and he's brought down. Pulls it in, first down, and he's knocked out of bounds. Run the middle and nothing there. Picked up a yard of anything on that run. Tackled after a decent pickup. Gray comes away with around five yards on the delayed handoff. The Cavalry's coming, and he's immediately tackled.
run right side. They'll drop him for a loss. Gets the ball here and brought down in the backfield. One more quarter to play. 24 to 6, Florida. Well, they've got the lead and they come up with a big stop, and it looks like they're going to get the football back. It's up, and it is good. Step it up and make a stop. Turner gets it on the inside. Brought down after a nice run up the middle. Nice run to the outside. Give to the tailback. Tackle around the 34-yard line. Anderson fields it at the 24. He gets out to about the 35-yard line. For Florida, they've been coming after the quarterback all day long. This defense has had success getting after the quarterback. And on top of the pressure, they've also come up with the two takeaways. This offense hasn't had any trouble moving the ball on the ground. And that's always been a very positive thing. Let's go, On play action. He's got an opening. Slides down to the ground. Good game there on the quarterback scramble. Tackled for a loss. That took a little too long to develop. Yeah, the offense was trying to get the pass rush going off field, but the defense did a nice job of sniffing out the draw play. Receivers got it on the screen. He's taken down. Right around the 44-yard line. Williams brings him down at the 44-yard line. First down. run up the middle on the ground with the tailback and he's tackled after positive yardage inside the 10 touchdown Razorbacks just a great effort there once he had some space he was off to the races Gun. Five wide receivers. Caught it, and the conversion is good. So with under five minutes to go here in the fourth, the score, 24-17, Florida. Work as much clock as possible. Makes it to the 34. Up the middle for a nice game. He's at midfield, and he's taken down at about the 47-yard line. It's caught first down, and he's out of bounds. And he's tackled at the 25-yard line. On the run, right side. Tackled outside after a nice pickup. tackle right away. The quarterback and his receiver make a great play here and convert on an early down. And this play is number eight on the drive. A little more than two minutes to go in the fourth quarter. Touchdown, Gators! That's how you're supposed to run the option. The defense just got lost there. They did not... He's got the junior, and he is drilled at the 34. Throws left, picked off. And down he goes, right around the 28-yard line. 
Kirby with that interception. This one's over. Tailback brought down for a loss. Ball in the 29. He's at the 20. Inside the 10. And they bring him down at the four-yard line. He'll get the call again. And they make the stop around the three-yard line. Zips it to his receiver. Touchdown. Florida has been telling anybody that would listen that this kid really has what it takes to be a star. You give the ball away, it's a disappointment. So these guys want to show that they can hang on to it. He wants it all going long. The defender had his hands on it, but it's incomplete. Let's it fly. And they couldn't hook up on that one. Well, that was clearly a poor read on somebody's part. And the bad news is there was no defender around. If the pass was anywhere near him, it could have gone for a big play. Well, I think he came down with it. But from up in the booth, it's hard to tell. After review the play, the rule on the field is reversed. College football. quickly and he's got his man they'll bring him down at the 23 spikes the ball got it complete he's out of bounds throws it and it's caught for the touchdown Nice catch by the receiver for the touchdown. Anytime you're near the red zone, you got to keep an eye for this guy. They love going to him down right here, winding down the rest of this clock. And he'll just take a knee here to kill the clock. And the ball game's over. The Gators just win it. 38-24. That does it for this edition of NCAA Football 14. For Kirk Herbstreit, I'm Brad Nessler saying so long.